What's good YouTube? My name is Christian and today I got a chill video for you. I got an oil painting process video of a commission that I recently got to paint two lovely cats. If you didn't know, I recently opened up my commissions to paint pet portraits via my website. So if you're looking for one for yourself or as a gift for someone, especially this holiday season that's coming up, please consider checking it out. I'll leave a link on the screen right now and then I'll also leave one in the description. So thank you. So I just kind of want to, you know, chat about what I'm thinking about right now. I think it's important to create these video, I don't want to say documentaries, but yeah, I guess I am sort of documenting this, this time in my life, this era. I, I actually found a video of me sort of setting up my studio space back back in January of 2023. And it's funny looking back because I had no idea what it was gonna you know, turn into or look like or what my life was gonna be like. So I think these are great. So I just wanna talk about what I'm thinking about right now. As an artist, I'm continuing to make art and carve out my own path in life. I thought I wanted to be a muralist because I still do enjoy painting murals, but here in New York, it's it's a lot more difficult. So I've turned to doing more paintings and, and shows and stuff like that. Although, you know, I eventually hope to paint more murals. But like I mentioned in the beginning, I've opened up commissions to do Doing paintings like this because it's you know it's a lot easier because I have the space to to do commissions but I've also you know been thinking a lot about my career in general and what it means to be an artist and I think there's different paths you could take right as uh, a way to either make money or to get your stuff out there and for me I've been used to this route of you know reaching out to people to potentially paint murals for them or, or make paintings maybe getting the occasional commission but there's two things that I want to do so one of them being continuing to accept commissions and, and getting those painting jobs because I think it's a great opportunity to learn because this is only my like third or second year of making art. I, I'll call it my second year formally since, you know, my first mural and stuff. So it's always good getting that practice, continuing to, to create stuff with oil paint, building that portfolio. But from there, I also want to become a content creator. I, I think I've mentioned in, in other videos that I've been watching YouTube since like 2012. And, you know, I it's kind of funny. I've always, you know, thought that this life was a little corny because you know there's that risk of not being successful and it's just weird kind of you know talking into a camera or a microphone and you know just being real with your audience but i think i want to move into that i think i'm, I'm at a point where i've matured and i've sort of let my my embarrassing thoughts I, i've set them aside and i think that i want to start moving into content creation because i'm passionate about videography and i'm always recording my stuff and i think i could you know build an audience and educate people and show people what I do and, you know, just share my art, essentially. One of the main reasons I actually started making art, um, which is another reason why I want to continue making content, is because I want to meet people that influence me, you know, who got me into making art. Kind of funny, I remember when I first started making art, I was like, you know what, like, how, how far do I want to go with this, right? I was just a kid in college, unsure about what I was even going to do with this. And I told myself I'll get as far as I need to go to be able to meet people that I've always wanted to meet or maybe that have inspired me to move into this field. It's fun to think that I could, you know, potentially meet my my favorite music artist, for example, in Logic. I think that's like the pinnacle, you know, the top of the top of the line. Maybe maybe when I have a million subscribers or maybe this channel will just die out eventually, right? Maybe I'll just get like 500 subscribers and, and we'll be gone. But you never know. You never know. Just got to keep working at it. But I definitely do want to meet some some of my favorite YouTube artists. Uh, I've met Slu before out in Brooklyn. Uh, that was really, you know, mesmerizing being in that studio space. But I would love to meet, you know, Kipto, 1000, uh, all these all these guys that, you know, have influenced me. And I kind of wish, you know, that I could make similar content to them. I want to reach the same audiences and create, you know, these large fantastical things and build these massive, awesome studios and, and all that type of stuff. I think the eventual goal for me is to be able to, you know, live off YouTube because I like this idea of just being able to make a video and say a little sponsorship thing, right? And then be able to, you know, make money that I would have gotten on making the painting itself. I think that's super cool and it's something that's definitely possible. I've never been the biggest, you know, person who's out for money. I, I live a pretty frugal life. You might notice I wear the same hats and sweaters in these videos as I always do because I just don't, you know, I don't really care. <laughs> so if I'm able to, you know, just make little videos in my little studio and upload them for people to enjoy all around the world and, you know, be able to live off that, I, I think that would be more than enough, more, more than enough. Some of my favorite artists also love spreading positivity. So, you know, I think I'd be able to use my platform for good and and create quality content that just, you know, makes people happy. So yeah, those are my, I think, eventual goals. Right now, I'm obviously not making any money from YouTube. This is all just a hobby, but I'm pumping out content, always painting, always trying to get, you know, commissions, being my own biggest fan and, and sending out, you know, flyers of my stuff to try and get people 
to buy some art. Cause you know, that's what, that's what keeps me afloat. Uh, that's what keeps me buying meals every day. You know, everything that isn't sent for meals or, you know, for the care of my cat or stuff like that, it's for YouTube. It's for, you know, upgrading my computer. It's for upgrading this setup that I'm sitting at right now. Um, I just bought some new lights for my, for my studio. Uh, which I think will improve the content drastically and help me create, you know, better photos for stuff like this. So, um, yeah, on the docket right now is a brand new computer, which, you know, could, is going to cost more than $1,600 to edit 4K footage like I want to. But, you know, it's all an investment. It's all an investment. And I do have a backup plan, of course, if this all doesn't work out. I will go back to school and take out some loans, you know, shout out the loans and become a psychologist, essentially become a clinical psychologist. Uh, which is my other passion, you know, but I'm giving this a shot. I am giving YouTube and content creation a shot because I've noticed that a lot of people like my work and essentially social media is, is a game that you have to learn and play and sometimes be, you know, a little bit aggressive. <laughs> if, if you want to use like basketball terminology, you know, sometimes you steal the ball from people, you know, you use sort of tactics that are, are, are sometimes frowned upon. Like I just uploaded a video about uh, with, with a sound where someone's like, oh, you know, I want you to support my small business. And, you know, I hate those. Oh, it makes me cringe. But I think if it gives me the exposure that I need and it, you know, helps out my channel and I eventually don't have to make those videos, you know, which is the goal. Um, I'm fine with doing that now. You know, I'll just I'll just get over it. <laughs> um, but I always love the the kind comments and, and stuff. If you're one of those people who sent some uh thank you so much i read every single one and try and respond to every single one unless i can't think of anything clever so thank you so yeah that's just a little bit a little bit of what i'm thinking of in terms of why i make art what i plan to do with this channel but yeah i hope you enjoyed this painting process video i do want to eventually make a whole overarching process video kind of detailing what methods I use, what uh, surfaces I paint on, even though I kind of did just make a video about the surfaces, um, what paint I use, what mediums I, I love, uh, maybe techniques that I know about. I love being able to share what I what I do. And if you're interested in that, please leave a comment. You know, leave a comment about anything because that also helps and support the channel. But yeah, I appreciate you for, you know, making it this far. I hope you enjoyed the video. I worked really hard on this painting. I made it in about three days, you know, working so diligently mixing all these colors um and this was a fun one and i really want to do more so um probably later today i'm gonna go out and uh, put up some more flyers around town and give them to some businesses to hopefully get some more orders because that's what we got to do in this game you know self-promotion maybe make another you know corny TikTok where i uh, guilt people into watching my video 20 times i i don't i really hate those i don't want to do any of that but yeah your support and you watching to the end of this is great thank you so much i urge you to consider checking out you know my website my my Instagram, give me a follow on there. Uh, checking out my other videos on this channel because I, I think I make some pretty dope content. And you know, there's more to come, you know, I'm trying to improve my, my editing techniques, always learning about uh, techniques that people use, the usage of text and, and, you know, programs like After Effects. So yeah, thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one.